So much. It's 5.03. So developing this morning, a woman is waiting to face a judge after she was arrested following the search for Samuel Olson. Teresa Balboa's arrest came hours after police found a child's body. Our Vincent Cavelli continues to follow this developing story. He's live from the Harris County Jail uh, with a closer look at that investigation. Vincent? Lisa, good morning. Last night we spoke with Samuel's mother. She says she just wants to see her son and needs time to process what exactly happened. But she does say she's happy that Teresa Balboa is behind bars. These images show a happier time in Samuel Olson's life. They were released by the attorney representing the boy's mother, Sarah Olson. Good boys. And I love you. Bye-bye. Sarah hasn't seen her son since January of 2020, according to her attorneys. Just wants everybody to know that you know she's completely heartbroken. Now she's waiting to identify the body of a child found at a Jasper motel. She feels that um, that a, a boy that was found in Jasper is her is her son. She hasn't seen the body yet, but has a mother's intuition. I had no choice but to hand him over. After Dalton Olson's girlfriend Teresa Balboa claimed that Sarah took Samuel back in her care with a man posing as a police officer. She couldn't believe that story. You know, she just, I mean, it was, it was outrageous. Sarah also thinks that Dalton should be in jail, according to her attorney. If Samuel is deceased, this is her child after the identification process, that she feels 100% of the blame is on both, you know, Dalton, you know, and uh, Teresa. And right now you're taking a live look at the Jasper County Jail. That's where Balboa is being held. She's facing a charge of tampering with evidence. Authorities expect she'll be extradited back here to the Harris County Jail in the coming days. For now, reporting live in Houston, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, 2 News. Vincent, thank you. Our